Okay guys, um, I'll chip away a little bit up the front there. Started digging out most of the runners of the keel. It's going to be really tight up the top there. I haven't even got the tools to cut any further in there. So I might have to go and buy some. Anyway, down the back I'm just going to measure up. from outside to outside. I know they attach to here. As you can see. So they all got to These actually run along the floor. Then they go into the groove. some idea. It's not to scale, of course. Oh, that's crap. Something like that. Things actually touch. So I said the height of the drop down floor. We'll say drop down floor here and here it's 120 also be 120 that side as well from here to the floor So, this is the floor here we're talking about. There. So, it's our floor. So, 120 from the bottom of the hull to here. Goes along. Doesn't matter what height that is, as long as that's set to 120 to the top. For argument's sake, let's just measure it while we find the tape. So it's not a matter of rushing in, you know, have a close look, check these things out, you think that a close look at that one, and look at this one, you think it just runs on this side, it doesn't, it incorporates a stringer. Probably they notched out, you know, so we've got to cut down there. I'm 
not sure how, how I'm going to cut into 90 degree corners. I'm not really sure. Anyway, these attach to the bottom up here. So, um, hmm. there that joins these goes all the way to the corners. Yay! Okay, so I'll just draw these little bolt holes there. Give you some sort of idea. Anyway, that's that. Oh yeah. Uh, these inside ones here, 340. Two fifteen, maybe. That would have to be the same. So, if I can get these off, it's going to be interesting because I've got to trim off the skin off the uh, transom there and grind it down a bit, ready for new stuff. Transom's not good. I'll we'll, we'll do that another time, but just gotta get this done. Uh, I've been speaking to some people in the numbers back in, they just put four, twelve more four back in, and it's strong enough. So we'll see what happens there. This mace knot goes all the way back. I'm going to have to trim off all the flange I've actually left all around here. Uh, some people leave the table up and put that straight, straight down over the top. Well, that may be a way go, but all this will rot over time. And then all you need it to do is block up your holes that you're going to and make behind your screen here so water can run out. If they block up the holes then you're going to have water sitting somewhere and uh, we'll just start all over again. Anyway, that's what we can do here. 